Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this. I actually made it, it's for me, and I just love it. Um, so I'm gonna show you the different elements um, and show you how to use print and cut. So the cool thing is I recently found needle labels, and so they make sticker labels. And the, the material is so amazing that using the same printer that I've always used, I'm getting such beautiful images. So I'm actually using Ariel and um, Sebastian. Those are, um, like I said, they're sticker labels. So it just gives it like a really nice, uh, I don't know, they look like real stickers to me. So um, so you put it on cardstock and then I did the outline. So you're, you're using print and cut. Um, I'm gonna walk you through that and kind of walk you through how to layer things, okay? so. First up is I'm not going to show you how to do the the zero. Um, that will be towards the end. So I'll take you into Inkscape at the end after we kind of figure out how to design all of this. Okay. So right now I'm just going to upload my O really quickly. Um, so give me just one second. Let me find my O. Um, it was here. Here it is. Okay. So. Um, so I bought the 3D letters from Etsy and it's by Namara Quintella and it will be a link in the video, of course. Um, I found so far that it's just her files have been so easy to use um, and they're super stable like because it's so thick. It just sits um, well on my hand, not so well balanced, but it sits without um, without any weight. I've seen other designers or other creators that do these videos and they always put stuff in there to keep it weighted down, but I haven't had any issues. And I've also decorated a ton on these. Um, I normally, I don't think I would decorate as much, but I had to get like the whole theme on one letter. And so that's why it's a little overkill, but um, hopefully you still like it. I'm still in love with it. Although I, like I said, it needs to be edited some. So anyway, when you buy this file, it's on Etsy. Um, so it comes like this. What you want to do is it comes kind of already maxed at its size. Um, and we'll do the, the internal offset in Inkscape at the end. But right now I'm just going to show you how to do this. So let's ungroup this for a second. And I'm going to ungroup. Oh, maybe I don't need to ungroup anymore. Okay. So what you want to do is I'm going to get rid of these tabs because we already have the tabs over there. Okay, and then I'm gonna get rid of these little indicators. Um, she has them on there so that you know where where it goes, where the tabs go, but I think it's fairly obvious, um, so I always just get rid of them. All right, so let's talk about, so you get the internal offset, right? I'm gonna move this over. Um, let's ungroup, do I need to ungroup? No. that I need to ungroup. Okay. I knew there was something. Okay. Um, so to create this little line right here, what you want to do is, um, send this one to the back so that you can see, um, your offset. But basically what you want to do is you want to grab the two items and you're going to align and center because you want it perfectly in the middle before you slice it, okay? So here you have it. And hold on, let me move it up a little bit over here. Okay, so you have two items, right? We're gonna slice. And that's gonna give you this empty border right here. Oops. So it's gonna give you this nice border. Now, to get the mermaid tail what you want to do is we're going to use okay you're going to use um we're going to go into images and search for a mermaid um tail or scale i can't remember what i searched for but let's see if this works mermaid scale um so we're scrolling i know i it was a design space image Yep. Okay. So here it is. It's free and it's called scale pattern. Perfect. So you want to click on it and insert the image.
and I wanted to make mine fairly big, right? So just get your scale scales kind of in proportion to your letters, okay? So you want to go over here and you want to bring your O over, or in my case, it's a Z. I don't know, maybe it's the same, same letter. Um, this is supposed to be a 10, a one and a zero. All right, so you have this, you kind of look to see where you want it, and then you grab the two items and you want to slice. So this is going to give you the scales in this shape, so as soon as it slices. So slicing is just a really cool tool. So here you have it, right? And then you're gonna bring it over here and you can, um, you can then weld it to the border so that it's one nice connected piece. And you might have to make it just a little bit bigger so that it's all connecting to the border. So once you have this, you can grab the two items and uh, weld. And so you can see the beautiful thing about this is it is just one piece of paper. There's no taping, piecing it together. This is all connected and it's all just one piece. You're gonna just pull off from your mat and it's all gonna be one piece together. I don't know if you can tell that from here, but it's just one layer. So it's, I mean, I love doing that. Okay. So let's get rid of this now that you know how to do that. We don't need any of the slice results, so you can just grab it and delete. Okay, so now we have this layer. Um, everything else is just sitting on top of that mermaid scale. So I have water bubbles, seaweed, coral, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's bring in each one of these layers so you can kind of see like how I, um, how I manage the colors and what I did. So let's go to images and type um, seaweed. And the reason why I chose this particular one is because I saw that it came in different colors and layers. Because that's what I want is, I don't want everything to be so flat. I And if you don't want to go into Inkscape, which I totally understand because I didn't go in there for a very, very long time. So having different layers like this will help you achieve that um, multi-layered look. Um, so you could see I have, I think, yeah, I just did the one. And so I just had different colors. I had, I mixed it up with um, glitter cardstock, two different colors, so a light green and a dark green. And then I did shimmer paper, so the texture's different. And, oh, that's all I ended up doing. So even though there's four colors, I ended up just somehow just doing the three colors. Um, so here is our first piece. I'm gonna layer it over here. And so you're gonna resize this to the, obviously to make it proportionate to your, to your piece. All right, let's bring in the coral. So um, go to images and type in coral. And again, with the coral, I was looking for something that had an outline and this was it. So you see this little piece here. So click on this one and insert images. Now what I did with this one though, if you can see, I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see this for a second. Oh my gosh, design space, like Ariel was not even down here. That's so funny. Okay, so what I did with the coral was, the coral's kind of small, so I ended up, oh man. Let's wait for the screen to catch up, but basically it's, it was one small piece, so I duplicated it, and then I flipped it over and I welded it, so it became like two pieces but attached, and then I had that same piece and I put it in the middle and it was all layered so let's um you know what let's just go to the pe oh there it is okay weird 
I uh, it might be a bad day to record a tutorial. So let's um, let's just see if I can get over to my piece over here. Um, So here's, it says it's right here, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, um, let's ungroup this thing. The only piece we want is this bottom left one. So let's delete this and delete, um, yeah, delete this. So what I did here, oh, and let's undo that because I want to keep it together. Okay, well, it's not working, so. Um, okay, uh, okay, let me delete this guy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's so crazy right now. It's just not, okay, I'm gonna delete it. Okay, so this one right here, what I did was, um, let's group this so that it always moves together because it's two layers, right? It's the um, coral, like the pink coral color, and then there's an orange outline. So I want them to move together. So I'm going to kind of tilt it a little bit. And then what I did was I duplicated this image and then went to flip and flipped horizontal. So it gave me this over here. And so I kind of, you know, like I sort of did something like this, okay? Then I duplicated the image and then I had this piece in front looking like this. So it kind of looked like a really big piece of coral even though it was the same one. So what you wanna do though with this, with this right here is you wanna make sure that your outline is combined. So you're gonna take this one, hit the shift key, and then this one and weld it together. Okay, then you're gonna take this one and this one, and you're gonna weld it together as well. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this piece though, to make it simple for us, I liked it to be filled in. So you're just gonna to go to contour and hide all, so it's gonna give us a full piece of coral. Then I have this one that's gonna go on top so see, it's kind of, it's just really nice and it's a low maintenance piece. It's not gonna rip on you, it's gonna cut well. And then this little guy is going to be, um, we're gonna make it stand out so it's not just so flat. Send it to the front and you're gonna have it like this just kind of popping out in the front. So let me show you to see if you could see that. So I did um, just regular orange cardstock and then I did a gold a metallic gold outline and it looks really really pretty so all right so now I'm going to group these three guys together and let's put this over here I think I had it kind of like tilted like this maybe a little bit smaller all right so there's my coral I think I still had one more oh no I had it right next to each other okay let's make this a little bit smaller Or not <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this okay let me scoot over here and see if I could do something about this image so that's not such a big file okay maybe if I got rid of the tabs so we don't need the tabs right now okay um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna flatten this okay and make it a print and cut but it will still be here so that we can see it because this is so many pieces and layers, I'm gonna flatten it so that we have it as a visual for us to look at. Oh, it looks horrible flattened, but that's okay. Um, all right, so let's pull this over so we can see what we have going. And we can put this one all the way in the back to give it that background to look like this. Okay, so we have the coral and it was more like right here. And then we need the clamshell. So let's go to images. And 
Okay, as well with the clamshell, I, ooh, maybe just clam. Um, I was looking for something that would have an outline. So I don't think this is the one that I used, but you see that has the two layers already. Um, yep, maybe it is the one that I used. All right, so let's click on that one and insert image. And it is the one that I used. <laughs> so let's see, what did I do? I did a light, like a mint green for the actual shell and then the yellow piece, I did do gold in front. So everything, cause all my three letters um, has a gold theme connecting the three, even though they're three separate themes. So here is our piece. I'm gonna change the color to the way I actually have it. So on this one over here, this um, piece in the back is mint green. And then I had this as gold. It looks way better in person. <laughs> All right, over here, of course, make it smaller. Okay, it's gonna go something like this. Now let's talk about the water bubbles. So let's go to images and look for water bubbles. I love anything dealing with water to have these little water bubbles because they're so simple, but you layer them and they look so cute. Um, and it just gives you like a really nice feel for everything. Like everything just looks a little extra. Um, and where are my water bubbles? Um, I'm looking for one that has a cutout. So let me see. Um, I thought it would jump out at me, but I don't know if I've already passed it. Let's see. I mean, we can just easily create a water bubble. I love when I'm searching though, that I find other cute images like that koala bear that was just right here. <laughs> that was really cute. I'll have to remember to go back to get it. Um, okay, I'm gonna scroll back up and just get a water bubble. What I'm looking for is that little, um, this little thing right here, this little slit. So I'm just gonna take this one. Hopefully it's free. Nope, it's $1.99, so I don't want it. Um, oh, let me unclick it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use this because it has that little sliver, okay? So let's insert the image. Even though it's a teardrop, it's not the shape that I want, but What's nice is, um, you know, we can make it work. So, uh, where, okay, so it's gonna drop in. So we are gonna go to contour and we don't want the bubbles. So I'm gonna hide all. What we want is just one of these little guys. So here's my little water bubble piece. And then it's just, they're just circles. So I'm gonna make a bunch of different circles in different sizes and I'm gonna layer it. So each one is gonna have three. So the way my water bubbles, um, it's gold, metallic gold on top, blue glitter cardstock behind it, and then gold glitter cardstock. So it really just gives it the details that I want. So, all right. Um, so this is my first layer. I'm gonna make this smaller so it fits within my little piece. And this is going to be, let's arrange that center to the front. We're going to slice it out because I want the color from behind to come through. Let me see, how does it look? Okay, so I have it looking like that. Okay, so we're gonna grab the two and slice. So my top layer is gonna have the slit, right? And so my second layer, that color is gonna shine through. So this color is gold. Then I'm gonna duplicate it. This one, I'm gonna to go to contour and hide all, cause I don't want the water bubble. I mean the, the slit, okay? So this is, this is 3.11, this is, I'm gonna make this 3.3, okay? And this one's going to be blue. 
and it's going to be behind, arrange some to the back. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate that one, and then this one's gonna be gold glitter cardstock, at least for me. So um, when I have two colors that are, well, two pieces that are the same color, but I know it's gonna be different cardstock, you have to change it to some other color. So even though it's still gold, this one's going to be like this yellow, okay? Just so that you can differentiate between the two. All right, so this one I'm gonna make 3.5 and I'm gonna arrange and send it to the back and see, it's gonna look like this. As soon as I can move it, I'm gonna grab the three bubbles and go to align and center it. So that's what it's gonna look like. It's such a small detail, but just imagine that each layer is has like a foam tape in between, right? So it's gonna give you that space and then the next layer and then the next layer and it just looks really, really, really nice. So here is one, obviously 3.5 is way too big for this, right? But let's group this together so that we know they're always gonna be resized together. And let's get rid of this little guy. Okay, oops, and this one. Okay, so you're, I ended up doing six bubbles. So you can see, too big, right? And then you just duplicate, you, you pretty much want six bubbles that are close in size but different, then it's going to look like they belong, but it's not gonna look so um, repetitive and so clearly of the same size, because that's really, um, that's gonna help you just make it look professional. So here are the three, and then you just do the same three over here. Um, this little guy images, jellyfish. Now again, I was looking for layers. So, um, and I found, I like this one, but it looked really thin. So I didn't use that one, but where is my, no way. All right, so let's cancel out of here. Let's go look for it. Oh, I got it. Darn it. We have to unflatten it so I can get the image of that file. Um, so let's unflatten. Okay, so where is my jellyfish? Um, so I'm going to, hold on. So when you click on it, you should be able to right click and let me, oh, what are my choices? I don't have any choices left. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. It's not letting me unflatten, but basically the jellyfish was an image from Design Space and it was a cut file, not cut and print. The cut and print was because I made, I flattened it, but it came in multiple pieces it actually came in so many layers that I ended up cutting just one jellyfish, but I split it into two. So I did lots of layers on this. It came with so many layers, but I ended up doing just two layers on each one. And it was a combination of gold and silver. So the top one is metallic, but the bottom one, I had a little bit of shimmer and glitter. So it just really changes it up. It looks, you know, the same, but different. So it just gives it, that extra element. Um, all right, so we've covered all the pieces. Like I said, Ariel and Sebastian and um, Flounder, they are print and cut images. So you can go and bring in any file that you want and you can just um, print it and then cut it. Um, or you could even do, so like let's say you wanted to do one of these images from here, let's look up. A little Mermaid to see if they have one here already. Um, let me type in Ariel. Okay, so these are my uploaded images. So I ended up using this one right here. So let's just bring it in. I want to show you how to do the cardstock behind it. Okay. 
and then we're almost done. Then I'm gonna take you into Inkscape. So technically you have enough to do this without Inkscape. Um, actually, no, you wouldn't have been able to do the, the, the little layers around. All right, so here is Ariel. Um, let's make her way smaller. So let's go to here, width and height, and change it to maybe just seven. All right. And this is a cotton print, right? So it's the three characters together, but you can see I separated mine. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring in like a circle or something, something to um, completely enclose over Sebastian. So let's unlock it so that I can kind of make him make the circle elongated. All right. So then now you can grab these two items and slice so that Ariel and Flounder can be its own piece. And then Flounder can be his own piece down here. Now I like print and cut, and if you were making something really big, this is another option to get around the size limitation because you can only print and cut 9.25 by 6.75. In this case, it was still like, I didn't need it that big, but um, I see, oh, this is close. I would need to make this 6.75, and then this length has to be under nine and a quarter, which it is, so it's fine. But it wouldn't have been if he was in here and he made it a much bigger file, right? So anytime that things aren't attached and you wanna do print and cut, if you if you um, slice it out of the image, then this guy could be 6.75 inches by nine and a quarter, and this one can be as well. So you can see that then all of a sudden you, you have just more options of making it bigger and making it work for you. All right, so here it is. So now what I was talking about is you want to duplicate this image. Because it's a sticker, you still need to put it on something, right? Or a label. So on your duplicate, you wanna to go to here, up here, and instead of print, you want no fill. And so you want it cut, so it's gonna cut on a gray cardstock, and then it's just gonna go right behind so that you can put the sticker on. So arrange, send to the back. I hope that makes sense. All right, then you're gonna do the same thing with him. All right, let's go into design or Inkscape so that we can do that internal offset. That's the only thing that's left. I do have a tutorial on how to piece this together with lots of tips. So I hope you join in to see that and then you can show me your 3D uh, letters. Um, all right, so let's go into Inkscape. And I actually have the K, so we can use this one if it lets me, okay. So your letters are gonna come in like this, okay? So let me just delete this. So it's gonna come in and then it's unlocked, so you wanna lock it so that when you stretch it out, it stretches out proportionately. Um, and I made it big just so that we could see it. All right, so this is currently our selected file. What you wanna do is you wanna take your cursor and go into an empty space and click in it because you don't want to have anything selected. Then you're gonna go down this, um, this panel and select the paint bucket and then any color. It doesn't matter because we'll change it when you get into design space. And then up here, grow or shrink by. If you want to grow, that's the offset. I mean, we do that. I did that for Ariel, for and for you know the characters and um, the seaweed, but I didn't have to do that right because it already came with it. But so if you wanted to make it bigger, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. That's going to be a positive number. So let's do 20, and then we already picked the colors, so we're going to do it on this one so that you could see it. So you see, it got bigger, right? So let's go and get the arrow, the cursor, select in an empty space, click the paint bucket, click another color, and then this time we're gonna do negative 20 so you can see what that looks like. So then I'm gonna click inside the K and see there's our internal offset. So you can have both, um, but that's how you do it. And it's so easy and I feel like it really gives your project that really finished look. So, um, 
I don't know how to do anything else in Inkscape, so. <laughs> but this is so important and it makes everything look so good. So, all right, now what you need to do is hit this arrow key again. You need to grab everything on your canvas and go to Path, Object to Path, and then File, Save As. So you're gonna save it, then you're gonna go and upload it into Design Space. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know in comments what you think. If you need me to slow down somewhere for my next one, because I'm, you know, I will be doing many of these. So I will keep that in mind. If you want me to focus on something else within this type of project, let me know. And then if you have any special requests too, just post that out as well. Um, if you need to send me files, it's Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys. See you next time.